Hey, what's going on YouTube? Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Normally I drink a lot of beer, but uh, I've been trying to work out and stuff, so I didn't get the name Big Phil for nothing. Hold on, I see a couple water drops. There we go. Uh, anyway, just wanted to, uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff to my car. Wanted to kind of fill you in on what's going on. Uh, let me see. Got the flares and the wheels on. Uh, I put some uh, wheel spacers on to kind of stick the tires out there a little bit farther. Had to uh, trim my air dam quite a bit. Well, I finally got a, a Gretti Type RS uh, blow off valve, and I it, I got it on eBay, but it didn't have the uh, the little trumpet thingy, so that's all I've got. Well, this is my uh, my rebuilt um, turbo motor. It's a true turbo motor. Uh, I rebuilt one that you saw in, in one of my other videos, and um, man, it we drank a lot of alcohol and did some things we shouldn't have done and anyway it smoked from day one and never really worked so this one is uh, stock um, uh, pistons but it's got uh, it's pistons from a motor that's got had 86,000 miles on it got new rings new bearings uh, you know of course all new seals and everything but anyway uh, you know, I did a couple things different. I got my my 240 uh, front bumper on there and I scooted my intercooler out a little bit. But my latest project and the thing that I think is just cool and I just put it on just now is methanol injection. That's, you'll have to excuse the wire mess here but I just got it hooked up. Uh, pressure, pressure switch currently hooked at 10 pounds of boost. Uh, here's the pump. Let me let me get to the other side here. There's my pump. It's a it's a cooling mist uh, system, so it's 150 psi pump. Then you have your um, check valve, and then your that is a flow and clog detector. The line comes around to the nozzle. I got the nozzle right here right before the throttle body and it just shoots a, a mist man and it's pretty badass. Check this out in the back is where I put my tank. This is the tank you paint with. I may get a bigger tank if I find out that uh, you know that I start blowing through this stuff pretty quick but I got the line going down underneath everything and it just comes out through the center underneath all that and goes out front. And that's it, man. Uh, other addition that I did to the car was I got some seats. Got me some of those racing style seats. So it really kind of completes the look. Uh, here's, here's my... Uh, methanol injection hose. I, I need to tuck it all away. I mean, I just got done putting it in. And another really cool thing is you can have a, a LED uh, that clog and flow detector works off of light. Well, I'm looking at all this stuff I have in here. I have a floor temp light that doesn't do anything. And I have a fuel, low fuel light that also doesn't do anything. Uh, because it's broken in the gas tank. If anyone has a sender unit with the low fuel light thing that works, I will buy it from you. So anyway, right now I've got the the methanol hooked up to the fuel light. So as it, when it's on, it blinks. And if there's a clog, it stays lit. So if it's blinking, then it's good. So let's go for a drive and, um, I mean, you, you'll be able to hear the new motor and, uh, which sounds really tight. Get get a chance to hear my uh, my blow off valve, and uh, which sounds pretty cool. It's totally adjustable. The other one, my Mitsubishi Eclipse blow off valve. You know, it's just no adjustment at all. I used a hammer for my adjustment to stiffen the spring. But anyway, uh, we'll uh, listen to the motor and uh, 
watch that little light blink saying that it's spraying methanol. And I've, I've got the car only set at 14 pounds, raced a Corvette and beat a Corvette at 14 pounds. So the, the methanol comes on at 10 pounds, and uh, I think I'm eventually going to set that to about, to come on maybe, maybe at 17 pounds, because I was getting some trouble, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20 pounds, trying to run 20, and couldn't get rid of detonation, although that was not with a true turbo motor, so I think my compression might be lower. So I really might not need methanol to come on until 20 pounds, and then... Uh, then I can really blow it up real quick. <laughs> anyway, let's go for a drive. I love these seats, man. They're so badass. Got them for 200 bucks. Everything in this car is is from eBay or Craigslist or something. The the cool the methanol injection that's a 300 dollar kit with the if you go to coolingness.com with the flow clog detector and all that 300 bucks. Got it for. 179 I think. It's a brand new kit. The guy never used it. Anyway, so I got my bottle uh, back there. Um, you know, I figure it's it's pretty much out of the way and I can just I can take a look and see if I'm low and then put some more in it. But hey, let's fire this thing up. I always like to listen to people f start their cars, especially with mega squirt systems, kind of get an idea of, you know, what their sounds like compared to yours and how easy or hard it is to start. So the car is already warm. And that's it. But, uh... Oh... You know, got my... Got my wide band, which, you know, it's warming up because I just started it up. Anyway, uh, let's go for a drive. Alright, we're driving. I thought it was kind of cool. Look at this car that pulled in front of me here. Check that thing out. What the heck is that? Like, I'm trying to film and drive at the same time, but anyway, I'll, uh, I'm going to have to slow down to make a third gear little little run to get into some, uh, some boost action. Okay. What's the uh, fuel like? Gotta yeah, take it easy here. <laughs> Try driving one hand. Yeah, baby. Hey, I, I know you couldn't hear me too good because I had my windows down. So I just rolled my windows up. Uh, also got my windows tinted. Another new addition, but uh, roll my windows up. <laughs> Car driving by, uh, and I turned my AC on. Yeah, baby, '78 Turbo 280Z kicked the ass of a Corvette, and I got factory AC that blows cold. That's what I'm talking about in the state of Texas. That's what you need. So anyway, I'm uh, blowing some AC, and I got this little. Uh, thermometer thingy. I just kicked it on so it was at 80, now it's at 70 but it'll go down. So let's make a couple runs now, see if we can uh, hear things from inside with us. A little less wind noise. Okay, we're rocking some air conditioning. I'm going to do the best I can. I'm one-handed here driving. Oh, 2,400 miles on this brand new motor. 